Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Hey Sitter 444 back again doing another Pokemon Black and White Wi Fi battle with Mr. Carter from the Elite Divided. First off, I would like to say I'm sorry for not uploading things for a while. I've had a lot of crap going on. So, now that I've got it all situated, I'm back and I'm ready to do this like a pro. So, let's roll. Okay, guys, so the battle starts. I had to speed it up so there's not going to be any battle sounds along with it. I'm leading off with my Conqueror. He's leading off with a Pikachu. This Pikachu is going to kind of troll me hard here a little bit at the start. Going to go for the Volt Tackle, out speed me like a pro. Does a huge amount of damage over half and somehow gets the Parahax first move. It's going to take the damage from the recoil. I'm going to go for a bulk up here thinking that, oh, once he does this, it's going to help me resist a little bit of the uh, Volt Tackle if he goes for a second time. So he's going for the Volt Tackle here again. I don't really know exactly what he's trying to get off of this, but it's enough to knock Conkledor out. I'm I'm probably thinking about replacing Conkledor on my team just because, well, that really didn't do much. I bring up my Mammoth Swine right here, and Pikachu's already at half, over half health, probably about a quarter left. Gonna switch out of Pikachu, go bring out Blastoise, expecting an Earthquake from me. Does about, uh, actually almost half damage, which was way more than I was expecting considering Blastoise is bulky, but I bring back my Mamoswine, bring in my Renuclus, expecting something water-related, so he goes for the Scald right here. Renuclus takes about uh, a little bit, actually 99 HP exactly. I'm going to go with a Psyshock right here, knowing that Blastoise isn't exactly able to take special attack hits very well. going to roar and bring out my uh, Toxicroak. I'm going to go for a Brick Break right here after he gets a leftover heal. Because, let's face it, Toxicroak's a beast. I should have gone for a setup or something, but nope, I don't. I go for a uh, Brick Break, brings Blastoise to almost dead. Roars again, brings up my Reuniclus, and things looking bad for Blastoise right here. I'm going to go ahead and do a Psy Shock, because that's how I roll. And that's going to take out Blastoise. So, so far, so, do so far, so good. I'm doing actually really well. Going to bring back out his Pikachu. Going to go for a Volt Tackle right here. I was really shocked by how much damage this does. I don't know what what this Pikachu stats are, but leaves me with three health. Does enough to knock Pikachu out. I go for a Trick Room setup here because I I didn't really know what to expect, but all is well. He's gonna bring out his Swellow. Gonna go for Protect, and I'm setting up a. I accidentally misclick and set up another Trick Room, so I just undo my own freaking Trick Room. I'm kind of rolling like on the floor laughing at how stupid I am for doing that, but it's okay, it's hilarious. I just didn't, actually, doing what I just did probably saved myself a bit. But he's going to bring out Heracross, I'm going to bring out my Mamoswine, I'm kind of hoping I can get a Stone Edge hit in here, since I know it'll wreck Heracross, but he goes for the close combat, and that's going to take Mamoswine out. I gotta say, I do like speeding up this battle, this would have been really long without it, and it's actually kind of cool having it go all fast forwardy and stuff, just because it's weird. Gets the Moxie boost at the end of that. I'm going to bring my Jalescent. Jalescent is just going to kind of troll his entire team right here. Going to switch out of Heracross, bring in Meganium. I'm setting up a Toxic right here, and I'm going to get it. And now it's just kind of time to play the stolen waiting game, which Jalescent's a beast at. Meganium's going to take the poison. He's going to set up a Leech Seed right here. I wasn't exactly expecting it, but what am I going to do? I, go f I set up the Recover expecting a Grass-type move, something like that doesn't use it. And I realize since I've got Meganium Poison, it's just kind of now sitting and waiting. I'm going to bring Jalescent back because I don't want to lose him. Bring up my new addition. One of my new additions. Tentacruel. Go for the Toxic. Or, wait. I don't know what he just did. I think he used Toxic. I'm not sure. Went too fast. <laughs> going to take the Poison. I'm going to use my Ice Beam because, well... Aside from being a spinner, McGannion, or Tentacruel's kind of a wall. Going to set up another Leech Seed on me here with, on Tentacruel, which kind of makes me mad, but the Leftovers and the Toxic and the Leech Seed are just kind of kind of all battle here for dominance over uh, McGannion's HP. But as you can see, Toxic is finally starting to take its toll. I'm going to go for the Protect here, expecting a Grass move. Goes for an Energy Ball, I protect myself, so I'm like, lol, 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 haha, in your face. Gets left over heal and Toxic is going to just tear Meganium apart this turn. And I think this is like the last, yeah, it's like one of the last turns Meganium's out here. Go for an Ice Beam again, just to screw with him. 
goes for an energy ball. It's gonna do about 100 damage. I'm just kind of like, eh, that's cool. Tentacles, a tank, he can take it. So this is gonna be in the Meganium right here, even though he's getting all this sap and sapping off my health and healing himself, but Toxic is gonna take its toll, knock it out, bring out Heracross again, goes for the Night Slash, uh, actually I go for a Protect, so I get it, he sets up a Night Slash, saving myself one right there, I'm just kinda, kinda, sorta, I don't know, <laughs> I guess I'm just kinda stalling right now, goes for a Night Slash here again, it's gonna do, I think it's gonna knock, actually no, leaves me with 40 health, go for an Ice Beam again, does a decent amount of damage. Restore my health with leftovers. Leech Seed, unfortunately, is going to pretty much here be the end of my uh, Tentacruel. Go for another Protect. I get it just to stall for a little bit longer. It probably would have been wiser just to let myself get taken out because he's going to Leech Seed off some more health from mine. But I'm just sitting here laughing, kind of. Get another Protect in. I don't know what the heck's going on. I am guess I'm just kind of making him... Waste PP for Night Slash, which is okay with me. Gonna get the drain here. That's gonna be end of uh, Tentacruel, and he did his job, and I'm I'm in love with Tentacruel. He's awesome. Gonna bring up my Gillesit here. Gillesit with that awesome mustache is just gonna let Gillesit have it here. Curse's body's gonna take out Night Slash, and I'm gonna set up a Toxic right here. Unfortunately for um, Heracross, he's choiced, so. Uh, He's going to have to resort to using Struggle, which really is kind of funny for me, because Jalescent is just going to kind of sit here and stay in most of the rest of the battle. I'll go for the recover right here. Noah's going to give me a bunch of health back, which I really could use. And I get the leftover heal, and it's just kind of more of the screwing around with Heracross, getting hurt by the Toxic, and struggling itself to death. Does minuscule amount to Jalescent. I go for the Scald right here. It's going to almost knock it out, but not enough. But knowing that Heracross is toxic, it's just a knockout right there. So going to bring out Swilla right here. Um, it's being poisoned by its Toxic Orb. Goes for the uh, Brave Bird right here. It does a huge chunk of damage, but Cursed Body takes out its uh, Brave Bird. I go for the Scald. Gonna gonna do a eh, decent damage, almost enough to knock it out. I go for the leftover, or I get the leftover heal. Takes the toxic absorb damage. It's gonna take out Swillow. I'm gonna go for a cover setup right here, knowing that he's bringing in Infernape. But I so I get the recover, brings me to almost full health. And with my leftovers, I'm gonna be at completely full, which is awesome. I'm excited. Get to set up the Stone Edge right here, and this is where Jalescent is just kind of lolling all over his team. Takes the Life Orb damage. I'm going to go for a Scold right here. No, it's going to wreck Infernape. And it's, actually, he's still got like 1 or 2 HP left, so I'm just kind of sitting here like, come on, knock it out. Goes for the Stone Edge here again. You're going to take me down to 186. Curse's Body makes Stone Edge useless. Takes the Life Orb damage. And that's going to be the end of that. Scold misses, obviously, because, well, he has nothing left. And this is just kind of a screw-around game. Swillow comes in, going to knock itself out with Brave Bird, but that's going to be it for now, guys. I appreciate you uh, watching my videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. I know you guys like this kind of stuff, so to me, for now, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. See you guys later.